Yeah. What are you interested in, man? Well, I'm interested in the production end of uh, television and radio, you know, producing, directing, you know, eventually, you know. Say, man, uh, where y'all gonna practice all this at, man? Well, Your floor directors and things, man. You know if you ain't if you ain't white, you ain't gonna get over, man. There are jobs for minority persons in the mass media. The two things that are lacking are training and opportunity. At Oregon State University, we've designed a program to make up for this lack. For four weeks, students learn and experience the basics of radio, television, photography, film, and newspapers. Then they spend four more weeks using what they've learned and learning more as an intern in a radio or TV station, a public information office, or a newspaper. These eight weeks don't make the students experts or guarantee them jobs, but it does qualify them to be hired, and it puts them in working contact with potential employers. So the two essentials for employment are there, training and personal contact. Recognize that there's no better way to get an education than to, uh, well, learn by doing, I guess is the cliche. So we give them some exposure to uh, news writing, uh, page layout. Uh, a couple of the students uh, did editorials. Uh, in fact, I think this intern program is, is the best way to educate anyone. Well, the final project for our journalism and photography assignments were for us to do a complete layout for our school newspaper in which we have to do our photographs, we have to do our own writing, our editorial, and our headlines. pages is pretty good for a workshop like this. It's informative. It will tell not only other minority students what the minorities can do, but it will also show the communities that the minorities are capable of doing these things for themselves too. All they need is the time and the effort. I look at my goal with the film students not so much as making them 100% proficient with the equipment, the splicers and the cameras or the various sizes of cameras, the rewinds, the viewers. I am more interested in having them be very familiar with the equipment, not experts, but not be scared of it. To be able to walk up to a Meyer Hancock hot splicer, for example, and know the rudimentary methods of making a successful, strong splice with 16 millimeter film. If they have that ability, then they can go into a television station, for example, and someone who works with the film every day can sit down with them and can work with them, and over a period of time, they can learn a lot. They started getting out of the basic material and began doing things, began actually going out and shooting film, that their interest level came up. television spot, so we decided to do a takeoff on a commercial. Since it was a Jive production anyway, we decided to do it on Jive Soap. Come up on camera five, start a slow dissolve, open the mic, and cue the talent. Right? Dissolve well, My specific reason for going into television is because of the fact that uh, in the past, as, as it is right now, there's not a lot of black faces actually on television. All right, so everybody get in position. Yeah, yeah. 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 
Hell of a lot of stuff here. No, no, I mean, anybody, you know, so what did I do? I'm over here. Give me a slow dissolve to camera Five two. Five seconds. I'm out of your car. Five seconds. Stand by. Open the mic. Open the mic. Stand by to cue them. Open the mic. Cue them. First we started with positives, which are your colored slides, and we had to go sell Avery Park or a park, you know, see how we would sell it for advertisement. We took those pictures and then we had to mount them. We had to learn how to mount them, how to cut them, how to set them in. What we do is we take all our developed pictures. We have to develop about six or seven before we get the light right. Because, you know, you can't spend two days in the dark room and know exactly what to do. It is very, very difficult in order to teach anyone anything about photography in four weeks. It is almost impossible. But hopefully by the time these four weeks are over, when they go out to the employers, they will have some understanding of what a darkroom looks like or, and what steps are involved with making prints and developing film. So that is trying to basically help them along. But with radio, you have to create the picture in a person's mind, and you have to do it fast so that a person won't turn you off, you know, and it's really, it's a challenge. Me and AJ got together on doing a a short radio spot on the program, and uh, I'm interviewing Dr. Weinman. We wanted to find out what Dr. Weinman really felt about the program. I asked Dr. Weinman what the basic objective of the program is. Things didn't always go right, and we found out that you have to make a few mistakes in order to learn. What's wrong, man? What's wrong? It's not playing nothing. But well, Wyman was on here someplace, man. Hey, what was There's nothing being said, man. I don't think we did nothing, man. Didn't we? What did he say? Oh, he talked about... In this course, people from a minority community mm -hmm. or a non-university community mm -hmm. are coming to the school as special students. And the main story in the past is that I can't. I would love to hire a minority person, but I don't know any qualified. And as now there are 16 qualified. young people from Oregon who are, who are qualified. Each person sat down and made a radio um, program message with some people mixed voice and music and sound and did that in two weeks, that's fantastic. weeks of internship at radio TV stations and newspapers have been a valuable job preparation experience. 
Some of the students have been hired by their intern employers and will start work in the fall. Others have decided to go back to school. A few didn't make it and dropped out of the program. But on the whole, the doors of the media are open for these minority persons and most have gotten both feet in. Well, the reason I got into the program is because Richard Wyman went to the Chicano Student Union and said that he wanted minorities. So I'll be going to my internship at the Polk Sun and I'm supposed to do a feature with photography and story. Uh, and I was supposed to go do an interview thing. Got to the Sheriff's Department and Right away, I asked them for the information on the recent drug arrest. The total number of people that were arrested for drugs was 114. They were arrested for heroin and amphetamine. Doing my internship here at KOAC, and uh, the things they had me doing is reading the news. I always wanted to be a DJ. Plus, after I got in radio, I didn't know it was all that production work you had to do, and that's really got my mind now. I like to start out in a small radio station because a DJ don't have a chance, too much of a chance to uh, break into the starting role at a large radio station. Uh, right now, I'm doing my internship at KGW, and I hope to get off into uh, floor directing. You know, I did the 12 o'clock Northwest News, where I had an assistant behind me to back me up, but um, for the first time, I did well halfway decent. This internship has really worked out for me. But the main material thing I've gotten out of it is a job. I got a job in the fall. The way I got it was uh, I just went, then he said, hey, come with me. I'm going to go deliver these uh, news releases. And he says, every place we went, he says, oh, hello, this is Craig Lewis, my intern. And he explained what I was doing. And he said I was doing a real good job. And the other main thing I got out of it is that this is the first, this is the first job I've ever had where I've been paid to use my mind. And this is one thing I keep telling people, and it's really important to me as opposed to, you know, every other job, man. Quit talking and work, you know, I'm through with that stuff now. Mm -hmm. See, but I needed something like this, you know. Hanging around in Portland with nothing to do, you know. I have learned a lot. First, the first day I learned more about television than I ever knew in my life. You know, I was working at Safeway as a cashier. And, and I was kind of into the fact of, you know, just communicating with people. I had just arrived in Portland and I was seeking and searching. And because I was kind of like, just like most people, I kind of wanted to make money instead of read books. When this opportunity came around, I just hopped on just I think it is better, you know, especially this way of learning where you, where you learn by experience, you know, you don't have to sit down and take notes and, you know, sky's the limit. And like, there's a lot of open doors for the minority yeah. students. It's kind of hard for uh, white people to talk to black people and black people to talk to white people. You know, <laughs> that's what I'm going to be a cameraman, you know. It's my high-paying job in the first place, and that's what I'm after, the money. I've got to start somewhere.